Good health tonight. A new report out concerning news from the March of Dimes. After nearly a decade of decline, the preterm birth rate has actually gone up. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a look at the national problem and the trend here in Michigan, Doc. Well, you know, let's start here in Michigan, actually. Reflecting the national trend, we saw a very small increase in premature births compared to last year, from 9.8% to 9.9%, earning an overall C grade in Michigan. Now, it's disappointing news for everyone, really, concerned about child welfare. For the first time in eight years, the March of Dimes reports the premature birth rate has risen. The increase last year was slight, from 9.57 to 9.63 percent. Still, that represents 2,000 more babies born too soon, before 37 weeks gestation and before their lungs and brains are fully developed. The rise earned the U.S. a C grade in this year's March of Dimes premature birth report card. States in purple and blue earned A's and B's respectively. States in yellow received a C. Orange and red, all in the southeast, represent D's and F's. It's hard work getting the preterm birth rate down. We've always known that. Um, and this year shows us with the uptick in preterm birth rate. So we've got to work harder. Part of that work will require renewed focus on African American and other women in racial and ethnic minority groups. That's where the rise in preterm births was most pronounced. Now, the March of Dimes also says elective C-sections should not occur before 39 weeks gestation. That's the point at which the brain is most likely to be fully developed. Now, regarding the issue of prematurity rates between races, Michigan had a slight improvement compared to other states. We now rank number 13. We were number 12 last year. Nonetheless, the preterm birth rate among black women in Michigan is 55 percent higher than among other women mm. in Michigan. Interesting. Yeah. I guess the good news is here, though, is our ability to uh, keep preemies healthy mm -hmm. uh, keeps getting better and better all the time, right? Well, that is true. Our ability to keep young babies alive longer is definitely getting better. But, you know, the main thing is they do suffer long term developmental yeah. delays. Yeah. And so the big issue is we do need to prevent it. Yeah. Sure. But you're absolutely right. Our ability to keep them alive is definitely better. Yeah. Okay. okay. Thanks, mm -hmm. Doc.